Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, I am trying to stop my um, shelter-in-place hair from taking over the world here. It's not really working well. And I still kind of look like Steve Bannon. At least I look tore up like Steve Bannon. Anyway, so earlier I did a documentary, an anti-Trump documentary, which was unfit, the psychology of Donald Trump, and... Now I am doing The Trump I Know, that is a 2020 release. This is a pro-Trump documentary. Okay. Now before I go into that, let me remind you all that uh, for every thousand subscribers I get, I purchased a bracelet from the company 4Ocean, and 4Ocean will pull a pound of trash out of the ocean for every bracelet I buy. So... There are other things to buy, but their t-shirts don't exactly fit me. I'm a bad American. Anyway, so, the Trump I know is primarily composed of interviews with people who work for Donald Trump. More specifically, women. His son Eric is in there. Uh, Don Jr. is... Not very in there. Don't see much of him. Uh, no Ivanka. But a little bit of his wife, but she doesn't make any actual appearances. And then they do an interview with him. So, yeah. You know. I would have to point out here, you know, that yes, these people are saying, hey, he gives opportunities to women, which is commendable. And I mean, no one, no one has no redeeming qualities whatsoever. Certainly, Donald Trump is something of a cult leader. And he's a cult leader because he's charismatic. He's fun to be around, I'm sure. Before he became president, I would have uh, jumped at the chance to spend an evening with Donald Trump. Now I personally don't think I'd ever want to be around him, but that's that's just not the thing. I mean, you know. But what's going on is that firstly you have the opinions of people whose job depends on them making this person happy and, you know, keeping him in power. Because his campaign people, well, they all disappear if he loses and... You know, the people that run his winery, for example. Well, I mean, if she said something bad about him, he'd probably fire her, which would be a natural thing to do. I mean, you know, look. If I came out there and, and said something, I mean, I'm currently sheltering in place and jobless, but if I said something bad about my employer to any of their customers they would probably fire me. You know, and they have the right to do that because it's insubordination and it's not appropriate. You keep your opinion to yourself uh, when, when you should. Okay? So this is a biased group primarily that is making this, this statements about Donald Trump and they're giving him reasonable reviews. And I mean, yes, some of the things they're saying are commendable. Let's not forget that. Even Donald Trump has done things that I agree with. Okay, not many things. Can't think of any at the moment, but I'm sure there's something. So anyway, as the uh, interview goes on, they begin to talk about the riots and compare them to what happened in other countries. And, you know, people are going, in, in my country, before everything went went to pot, they were pulling down statues and there were riots. And I'm like, you realize that Donald Trump is president and they're pulling down statues and there are riots. So, that's not a glowing endorsement there. But what you have is a lot of loose information. Okay. So... All this loose information doesn't amount to much. I mean, yes, 
it doesn't matter what you do if there's enough instances of a thing there's going to be bad situations or there's going to be good situations I mean you know look at uh, you know the communist countries broke down and I'm sure there's there's plenty of bad things happening because of the breakdown you know, it's not uh, exclusively a good thing but that word that keeps getting thrown around is socialism. Okay. And when you start breaking down what does socialism mean to this country, it's an argument over health care, which is never brought up in this, in, in this documentary. And I have to point out, you know, that we're the last major country on earth that is not providing our people with health care. It hurts small businesses that we don't do this and helps big businesses that can, quite frankly, afford to spread the cost out over their, their major, major industries. And I mean, you know... I'm very sure that at least in part I lost my last job because they didn't want to pay for my health care. So this this video that says, you know, in a very, 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 very roundabout way that we shouldn't have universal health care is a little, little offensive to me. You know, otherwise... I don't think a documentary is going to show the real Donald Trump, nor is an interview, nor is anything. I mean, if you went out there, there's a particular kind of psychology, psychological study of a personality, where you take all of a person's writings and all of their tweets and all of that sort of stuff, and you look at it and you analyze it and you, you, you find reoccurring themes... So yeah, if we did that for Donnie, it wouldn't paint a very flattering picture. And I mean, you know, just because you you employ women, I mean, yes, he does that. And the statement here is not only does he employ them, but he respects them. And they also say that he's not a racist because they do show that he employs people of minority. They show that. It's very clear. He employs people of minority. This is not a question. But to paraphrase... Um, what was his name? The Mooch? You know, I forget his name, but he worked for Trump for about a week. The guy says, look, Donald Trump is not a racist. He's just an a-hole. Treats everybody badly. You know, if you're for him, he treats you good, and if you're against him, he treats you bad. Got no loyalty. So, yeah. What does this say about the documentary? If you're not pro-Trump, you're probably not going to enjoy it. I have to say it was kind of dull and airy, and it did not give me a lot of hard facts that I can add to my repertoire here. It doesn't say anything that Donald Trump has actually done. And I mean, I'm sure there's something. He's done something. It does say that we had some, some great years uh, economically, which I don't concur, but it does say that. So, okay. From my perspective as a person on the bottom, no, no, not, not very good years economically. But, hey, from a rich person's perspective, yeah, those were some good years. The, the Dow went up, then, then we hit the virus, and, and everything fell apart. And the virus may be the thing that uh, decides the election in a few days. I don't know. But 
this is a watch only if you're bored. It's not... If you're a Trump supporter, I would put this high on your watch list. If you like Donald Trump already, definitely go watch this video because you're going to enjoy people saying good things about him. Right? If you're not into that, I mean, you're, you're going to be bored because it's not... Not really gonna change your mind. Anyway, that's my opinion. Love to hear yours. Comments below. I'm Richard. Greetings, capitalist pigs. I am cannot see the blood of my enemies, Borgoff. Reminding you to like and comment on this video, and you can find more of me on the Power Sister Horses exclusively on Absurd TV. Directed by Mark Schaefer.